Hello! Today we're gonna make no knead bread. Easy, no kneading required. Um, I'm gonna do a black pepper and Parmesan flavor, but you can do it without that. Still just as delicious. Um, if you wanna do something sweet, you could add cinnamon, yum. <laughs> All right, the only thing about this bread is that it takes like 20, 24 hours to sit before you get to bake it. So if you wanna eat it, make sure you start it the day before. Awesome, so we're gonna get started. The first thing you need is all your dry ingredients. So we're gonna start with flour. So this guy's gonna have three cups of flour. Just regular flour, you don't need um, whole wheat or bread flour, or pastry flour, just the regular stuff is great. I mean, if you have bread flour, you can probably use that. I just never have it. Awesome. That's in there. Then I'm going to use some yeast. I just have instant yeast. You can use active dry yeast if you've got that too. And we're going to get two teaspoons of that. Just plop it in there. Where I'll have two teaspoons of salt. Got my little salt pig, because I love pigs. And then half a teaspoon of pepper. You can crack your own, or if you're lazy like me, just get it pre-cracked. Awesome. And then the last thing is the Parmesan. So I just like to use a microplane grater is a miracle worker. I'm just gonna grate them in about two tablespoons, um, but really however much you want. Go in there, just for a little delicious cheesy flavor. It's like snow, cheese snow. The best snow. Well, that would kind of be gross if it no cheese or delicious depending on the cheese awesome all right that looks good so I've just got it all in there and just gonna stir it together just so the yeast gets incorporated a little bit beautiful and then we're gonna add some warm water uh, about one and a half cups worth. You want it to be pretty warm, but not boiling because then it will kill the yeast. So it'll feel hot to the touch. That's perfect. That looks good. So I'm gonna pour that in. I'm also gonna add about a tablespoon of olive oil just for a little extra flavor. This is extra virgin olive oil, but any kind will do. Then we're just gonna stir it in there. No kneading, it's real. <laughs> So you wanna stir until all of your flour gets um, moisturized, basically. All right, this is what it looks like now. It's kind of like a sticky ball. Perfect. So we're just gonna leave it like that, scrape any bits off the side back into the middle. Um, then I'm gonna put a lid on it or saran wrap it if you don't have a lid. And then we let this sit overnight at room temperature for 18 to 24 hours-ish. Um, it's gonna rise up, so make sure your bowl is big enough that it can grow and it might collapse a little bit. Um, and then we're gonna bake it off tomorrow. The only thing about baking this that you need to know is you need a, a heavy duty pan with a lid. And um, I have this 
big guy here, a Dutch oven. Um, it's a cast iron pot, but any other cast iron, it doesn't need to be enameled, um, should work pretty well. Awesome, well, we'll see you tomorrow.